talking overreactions on this Monday for the Lions beating the Packers. First off, huge shout out to our Detroit Lions for getting that win. I am happy about it. Overreaction Monday with a victory is way better than with a loss. But before we get into today's video, if you are not a subscriber and I uh, say about 80% of you are not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Let's get to 5,000 subscribers. Live Nation I trying to bring you all things Detroit Lions. Let's begin. I got to talk about this one right off rip. I love the draft. It's a great time for the channel, for Lions Nation Night channel, for my personal channel, for all things Detroit Lions. We all love the draft. But the overreaction to say we should have lost to stay with that number one overall pick is an absolute overreaction. And I, and I honestly disagree with this assessment. First, if you're trying to change a culture, folks, it's all about wins. Win solves everything. You see teams that are consistent winners that can find their quarterback and, and they continue to win even with their draft Picks is way at the end of the draft consistently. We've seen teams like the Baltimore Ravens, the New England Patriots, the Green Bay Packers. We've seen these teams. They may not have premium picks, but they still win, and they get the players that they desire to get. If you're Brad Holmes, I don't care about the draft picks right now. If you want to acquire talent, you find it wherever you're picking at, or you trade up or trade back. That's what it's all about. So I am happy the Detroit Lions won this game, and I want them to win more games. I'm not saying they're going to win a whole lot more, but that's what I personally want. It is an overreaction to get upset that we won for the draft selection. Let me know right now, are you upset the Detroit Lions won for this game and screwing up the draft spot? Let me know if you think we should have took the L for the draft picks, tanking for picks. Let me know. The Lions defense has arrived, and it's really good now. That is an overreaction, folks. We were going against a team in the Green Bay Packers, who, we're not, let's be honest here, we're not used to seeing, was on a four-game losing streak. They're beat up. Their offense is bad from uh, having lack of talent because they shipped off, you know, Adams to the Raiders there. A lot of injuries to their wide receivers, and Karen Rodgers is... 38 years old, and it just seems he's not the same person that we're used to seeing. So, I'm not going to say that our defense has arrived and we're all of a sudden going to go from the worst-ranked defense to a, a mediocre defense. Not going to say that, but I'm happy with the performance. I'm not going to put it down. Kirby Joseph lit it up. Love what he did. Two interceptions. Derek Barnes, beast on the field. He was freaking sideline to sideline. 12 tackles. Love what I saw from the young players on this football team. And defensively, they were the reason we won this game, primarily the reason we won this game, because they were showing out. But I am not going to say that they have arrived. We'll take game by game. We get better. Shout out, though, to Aaron Glenn. Shout out to all those players that took it up a notch and help us get that victory on Sunday. Overreaction to say Jared Goff is playing bad. That is not an overreaction. He is not playing good right now. I'm not saying he can't play good, but right now he's on a bad skid right now. Let's be honest here, folks. He should have thrown multiple interceptions. This game only threw one. His throws were off target. They weren't even near wide receivers. He's missed St. Brown completely throwing some ducks. And wide open receivers that was missed as well. He's got to play better. He has been on a bad skid here. And he's got to perform better when you were the quarterback of the Detroit Lions. Hold to account. Hold to account for the performance that's being done. I'm not going to give excuses. Well, we didn't have Josh Reynolds in this game. You can always give excuses. 24-7. Every team can do excuses. But at the end of the day... People that perform, perform, and people that don't, that don't. And he wasn't performing to the standard you expect the starting quarterback to be. He's got to turn around. He's got an opportunity to turn around. we got nine more games of the season. We're going against the Chicago Bears defense on Sunday. That's not the greatest in the world. They do got a decent pass defense, top 10. 
But guess what? Their run defense is booty cheeks. I think it's 30-31 there. 32. We can run the football, and they'll help out Jared Goff by running the football. He's got to perform better, though. There is no doubt about it. He's not playing to elite status. He's not playing the top 10 uh, statistics right now. He, it's just not happening right now. He's The past three, four games has been rough for Jared Goff. The offense in the second half has arrived because we finally scored in the second half. Not going to say that. It's one touchdown. Still, we got seven points, and now in four games, it was good to see them score, though. I'm not going to lie. I was really happy about it. Shout out to everybody offensively that got that score yesterday's game, but they got to continue to perform in the upcoming weeks. We still got a lot, and the offense has taken a dip, folks. It's ranked 12 now in the NFL. It started out hot, but each week it's taken a dip more, more, and more, and it's concerning. And a lot has to do with that second half. A lot has to do with the lack of production that's taken place in the second half of games. Adjustments being made by the other def- the team's defenses, and uh, we're not making those adjustments. One thing I did like that we haven't seen on Sunday, that we haven't seen in multiple games, is in the fourth quarter, they ran the ball quite a bit. Now, I think it has to do with the fact that Jared Goff was off and Ben Johnson was trying to protect him. But nonetheless, they ran the football more, and that's what you want to see. You want to see them run. I don't care what the circumstances is. you got to run the football in the fourth quarter. So that is an adjustment I I saw and I like. Dan Campbell coached a great game because we won. That's an overreaction. There's, There's decisions in this game that I did not like. First off, the first drive going for it on fourth down, just take the points. Take the points. I wasn't upset about that as I was really upset about that fourth down at the end of the game with Karen Rodgers. we seen what Jack Fox can do, punt them back, and the defense was actually playing well. The defense was playing a good job. We got to be able to stop playing Madden football here. Not every time you have to go for it on fourth down. Please, not every time. Dan Campbell, I love the win. I'm happy you're going to drink a beer. Happy you're relaxing for the victory. But... You got to get better at some of these decisions being made. But I got to say, rightfully so, the coach's challenge. He's did some good decisions in this game. The timeouts were not bad. I like that. The coach's challenge was spot on. I know a lot of people said go for it on two was a bad decision. I'm uh... I didn't upset about that when you're at the one yard line. I, you know, I was questionable. I was a 50 50. So I'll give that a 50 50, but I'm not going to harp on him in a negative way for going for two points when you're at the one yard line. Just not going to harp on that bad boy because, hey, you know, it is what it is. The Detroit Lions can go on a winning streak and make the playoffs. That's an overreaction. I don't believe we're making the playoffs just because you win one game. You got a ridiculously hard schedule coming up. Chicago Bears are playing a lot better than they have been. It's going to be a tough game with with dual threat Justin Fields out there. You got the Giants, Jets, you got the Buffalo Bills, all New York teams we we got to face. That's all three going to be difficult right there. Minnesota Vikings who are 7 and 1. That's tough. That's going to be real tough. So I'm going to say that's an absolute overreaction. Not saying we're going to the playoffs. Not saying we're going to go on this massive win streak. It's going to be difficult. Let's just take it game by game, improvements by improvements. Brad Holmes had a hell of a draft. Is that an overreaction? I'm not going to say that's an overreaction or underreaction. I love what I'm seeing right now, first off, from Kirby Joseph Derek Barnes from last year, you're seeing Akuda, even though he had a down game this game, he is he's a younger player that even though Brad Holmes didn't draft him, you're seeing development there. You're seeing it from Joshua Pascal, Kaminsky, who we picked up off the waiver wire multiple teams wanted, Aiden Hutchinson getting a pick. You look at these young players and Jerry Jacobs as well. Damn good. Damn good. I, I'm I'm loving it right now. Um that they're stepping up. I always give players three years. I think that's really important. Still, the Levi Nuzurike one stinks, but a lot of good right now, and I'm happy. That's what you want to see. You want to see these young guys, so kudos right now. We still got to see 
Jamison Williams come in there. But kudos to Brad Holmes right now from what we're seeing. And uh, I, I enjoy it. This is what you want to see. All these young guys develop and people that you pick up play well. Khalif Raymond, too. I, I, I know he, didn't, he hasn't played a lot really showing out, but that's not a bad player to have as a, a, a depth at wide receiver. He's got some speed, so he's, he's done some good things for the Lions. The draft is how you win. It's all about building through the draft, and right now I am pleased with it. Continue to grow. I want to see these young guys get better each week. James Mitchell continued to get better. Again, we drafted this tight end. He got a touchdown and a big first down. Yeah, he only had eight yards receiving. That's, I don't care. I just want to see these young guys get better and make positive plays. You know, not drops or anything like that if you're a your receiving weapon and not terrible if you're a defensive player. You just want to see these guys get better and so on and so forth each game. So I'm always going to give kudos for positive. Always going to give credit where credit is due. And I credit the whole Detroit Lions on here. Even if you're a negative person, doesn't matter. The only stat that matters, folks, is wins and losses. I will take an ugly win, a nasty, dirty diaper that just exploded over a beautiful win. I take I'll take ugly law or ugly wins ugly law ugly wins over nasty or beautiful losses. I destroyed my own words there. But you get what I'm saying here and and that's really important. Make sure you guys check Lions Nation Unite. They got a lot of epic gear there, folks. Really cool. Lions Nation Unite. You go to lnushop.com for the latest and greatest gear, shirts, hats, Bella Calavas, styling and profiling like Ric Flair. And that's what it's all about. With that said, folks, adios.